Good morning. I am in the Shaguamigan Nicolay National Forest, just south of Mellon, Wisconsin, which is actually where Copper Falls State Park is. And I am at East Twin Lake Campground. I'm going to give you a walking tour of this one because it is a very small campground. So you come in on Twin Lake Drive off of County CG, I believe, and you are at East Twin Campground. Let's go walk up and take a look at some of the uh, sites and why I chose this one in particular. I'm at the information board here uh, with a picture of our camp host on it. There are only 10 sites at this campground. The entire National Forest, um, which covers a big chunk of northern Wisconsin, has over 50, has about 50 campgrounds. Not all of them are always open. There's actually a couple around here that are not open, but they're probably going to start opening them up soon. Okay, a couple quick things. Most of the sites here are reservable. There, I think there's one that isn't. First site, site 10. It's a walk-in site. So you can only drive to where this Jeep and its trailer is right now, and then you walk down into it. This is reservable. I'm going to walk down the road there to the split. Okay, I'm at the split. We got sites one through five to the right. Let's go on over there and take a look. Okay, we've got a loop here, so you keep right. Right away, we have site one, simple fire ring table nice little tent site now if you look at this signpost here it has it's just one this is a non reservable site so this is a first come first serve so that one's usually going to be open all the sites are on the outside of the loop here we got our little pit toilet over there and you see on this sign you got that little extension up top and it says reserve, so this is a re reservable sites. All the sites are reservable other than site one. Simple little site. Now, why we're here, you'll start, oh, you can even tent way out out here. Why we're here is we are on a lake. Here's site three. With a nice little peek out onto the lake. See it right through their shelter there. Now, I'm not sure what's going on here. Site 4 is closed. Alright, so we actually have a drinking water station here right off of Site 5. I had missed that before. Let's go take a look at what their waterfront spot looks like. So plenty of room here for tents. Lots of good space for tents here. And a little path down to the water. So that was site five, and I'm realizing now that was the site where I took my photo, and I'll show you now, at that site, at that little pier that made me want to come back. But at that point, I could only see 30, meet, 30 feet. The whole lake was fogged in. Go check out site six through nine. Now the first site over here on the right is the camp host site. 
and it's not in one of the loops. It's kind of a isolated separate site between the loops. Uh, the camp post is nice enough to have a clam here that basically has information in it. Um, because we are so far from any of the state forest information booths, um, like miles and they have weird hours. Uh, we tried to stop by one, but they're only open every other day and we were there on the wrong day. He has information in the green clam. So my campground host, this is his YouTube channel, Stein North. You can check him out there. And that's his kind of interesting rig camper trailer that he's curated with a tent a truck camper on the top. Now as I go up to the next section, I know I should be good up here because site seven has left for the day or gone on. We are in site eight, site nine. I did see them pull out. So we kind of have this corner to ourselves right now. So site seven right here. Nice little tucked away spot here. And let's go down. And so from this spot, you have a little access to the lake. There's a little beach down there. We'll go check that out. But let me check out this little private beach over here. We have a nice little soft little beach area here you can walk in from. Look it out on the lake. Oh, and around the corner, just a little bit back up the entrance road, there's a spur that goes off to a boat ramp. So if you have something bigger, you can put in, and there is a pier that I'll show you a little later. Now you also notice over there, there is a uh, pontoon boat. There are a few private residences down a dead end road over there that share this lake. So they're kind of grandfathered in. But, you know, why would you want to buy land when you already own all of this? This is National Forest, so you own it. Just come rent your spot when you need it. Wander through the woods here. So again, this is Site 7 we're in. Our camper van is in Site 8. And this is sort of between the two sites. This other beach access here. And the water was warmer than I anticipated. All right, from this nice little beach area, we're gonna head on up our site. It's all pretty open and clear through here. We got the dogs with us this weekend. My wife hiding in the clam. Kid hiding in the tent. Still sleeping. So there's a little path that runs through here. Goes down to the pier. And Site 9 has this space over here. So yesterday they had their boat in the water and parked at the pier. So they have and shared this pier with us. A nice little bench to hang out. And sit down here by the pier. I did see a turtle yesterday that was hanging out on the ground here. When he saw me, he went running and scurrying in the water and he came back up again. My daughter saw him a little later. Let's go check out the pier. The water is pretty heavy with a tannin, so you can't see very deep into it. A little grassy area out there and the sparkling water. It's a beautiful little spot. Now I probably need to get over to where the boat ramp is over there and check that out. You can swim here. Um, if you look on Google Maps, you'll see pictures of families piled up in inner tubes out here. So I'm gonna go do a little more exploring. 
Now I assume the Site 10 is over there on the water, but I can't get down to the site without disturbing somebody, and I don't want to do that. Let's go see if I can get to the boat ramp on foot. So on this loop, really only three sites. You can pack quite a few people in there. And actually, if you want to have a really fun family gathering, recreation.gov, book six months in advance, plan it out, and you can probably book that whole circle So walking back out the entrance road, just a short little jaunt here, we have a split and that'll take us down to the boat landing. And the boat landing is Forest Road 190. Boat landing, this way. See the campgrounds on the left there? I am the blue dot now at the boat ramp. There's so a nice turnaround. There's a parking area up there on the grass. here. I call this a campsite. I assume this one's probably free. Dispersed camping right by the boat ramp. Bonus! You gotta take your chance. This would be a first come first serve tent site right by the boat ramp so you can't take your car up there obviously but that's definitely a campsite As far as the uh, vault toilets go, host keeps it nice and clean. 